In this video guys, once for all, we'll find out which armor is actually better. Italian suit, armor quitus, or maybe the new double S armor. If you'll check the description of Italian suit, it is said that after revival, it gives plus 15% to attack. With Astral for 3 stars, in total, it will be plus 20%. Ok, let's check it, let's check how each revival effect did damage in my favorite chapter 75. With no revival, Kunai is doing 62,000 damage, for the drill shot it's 41,000, and let's get one more skill, for example, Brick. The Brick is doing 83,000 damage. Now, we know the damages of 3 skills without revivals, so it's time to die to check damages after one revival. For Kunai, the new damage is 75,000. The drill shot is doing 50,000 and brick 100,000. As you can see, after one revival, you definitely have increased in attack. Let's check what will happen after two revivals. Kunai is doing 90,000 damage. For the brick, it's 120. And drill shot is doing 60,000 damage, which is higher than after one revival. Ok guys, before we'll check numbers, let's die one more time, because in some modes, you can die 3 times. Kunai is doing 108,000 damage, the brick 144, and drill shot 72,000. So guys, I already did all calculations, and yes, after each revival, Italian suit will increase your attack on 20%, but it works a little differently than most of you think. Each revival buffs its own pool damage. Instead of adding 20% after each revival, you should multiply by 120%. Not by 20% because it will be incorrect and you will lower damage. Technically, after 2 revivals, instead of plus 40%, you get plus 44%. After 3 revivals, instead of plus 60%, you get plus 72%. That's why Armor Quietus is not always better. With Armor Quietus in Soul State, you get plus 30% to attack. With Astral Forge 1 star it will be plus 50%. Let's quickly check it with the same attack, the same skills. For Kunai we have 62,000. Drill Shot is doing 41,000. And the last skill, as in case with Italian Suit no revivals, break 83,000. Now let me enter the soul state. Kunai is doing 94,000. For Break it's 125. And Drill Shot is doing 62,000. So guys, after I did all calculations, everything matches, I really got plus 50% to attack. If you'll do a small comparison between Eternal Suit and Armor Quietus, Eternal Suit wins only after the third revival because it increases your attack on 72% while Armor Quietus only on 50. But sometimes, even with two revivals, it's better to use Eternal Suit, for example, in Enus Echo. What about the new Relic Armor? Menu, you count the final damage as in this list, it goes from plus 20% to plus 85%, but it's completely wrong and it's more complicated than you think. To count the final damage, you should take your base attack, multiply it by base skill damage multipliers, then multiply it by all skill damage with Void Astral Forge 2, then multiply it by Eternal Astral Forge effects, and multiply it one more time with Red Buff with Void Astral Forge 4. Here's an example, we take 145,000 attack multiplied by 9, wind pump multiplier, then we add skill damage plus 5% to pet buff plus 5% and to void buff plus 10%. It all will multiply by eternal astral forge, in our case plus 10%, and then we multiply by red skill plus 20%, not plus 25. If you think that it's already complicated to count the final damage, let's add 2 more buffs. From Void Boots plus 50% and from Double S Weapon plus 70%. If Void Boots you should count as base skill damage multiplier, then stacks from Double S Weapon you should add to all skill damage with Astral Forge Void 2 stars. As you can see, the new armor is really complicated and it's not really easy to compare it with Eternal Suit and with Armor Quietus. But now, with the tool I'm gonna show you, you don't need to know any formulas. So here we have our 3 armors, Eternal Suit, Armor Creators and Double S. In case with Eternal Suit you need to choose amount of revivals you can have. In case with KS Armor you just need to choose plus 30% or plus 50% to attack. With Double S Armor it's more complicated because you need to choose your Astral Forge level. How many percent you have from shield damage. If your health is bigger or lower than your oven health. And the last is external skill damage, for example, it's 5% from talents, 5% from pets, 
70% from stacks of the double's weapon and so on. After putting everything, you will see which armor is actually better to use and even on how many percent compared to other two armors. So guys, which armor is the best, which armor is better to use depends on the quality of your armors and where to use. Use this tool to know which one is better for you. By the way, the link on the tool I will leave in the description in the comments of this video. Subscribe my channel and would be great if you will like this video, because it helps me to make a better content for you. Thank you.